What's up guys? This is the unicorn fish and most of unicorn fish have a horn. This fish doesn't if you notice but it has those yellow sharp ends over here on the tail I guess it compensates for not having a horn with those. Those are really sharp and it could hurt you if it hits you with these but I don't think it, it usually um, attacks anybody. It's a coral fish, so usually you find them in the coral. When I found this one, it was near the, the coral, coral reef, and it hit, it's black, so it hit in a hole, and it was dark in there, thinking that I don't see it. But I did see it, and I shot it. And now we're gonna clean it up, and we're gonna cook it, and we're gonna find out if it's good or not. Okay, guys, now it's time to fillet this fish. It's got really tough skin, listen to this. Very tough, very tough skin. Most of unicorn fish have tough skin like this. And not a lot of fish actually have tough skin. This is a sharp knife, you guys, but it's still, still having a hard time. I'm just gonna poke it. That should make it easier. There we go. Because, you know, if you're trying to cut it, it's not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna poke it like this. Wow, that's really sharp. That's really tough. There we go. As always, cut all the way into the head. This is one of the toughest fish skin I've ever seen. Really, really tough. So we're just going to cut it like this. Cut a long cut on the back. All the way down to those sharp ends. That's the sharp, I'll find out if the sharp ends go all the way down to the spine or not. I guess they don't. There we go. And now just with the knife and there we go. Just feel the backbone and just fill all your meat out. the spine for the backbone and I'm gonna go over the rib cage because this flimsy knife I'm using is not gonna cut the rib cage and it's just easier you just clean it and fillet it one time instead of having to cut the fillet and then having to remove the rib cage just go over it and nothing is going to be wasted. The crabs are going to have a fantastic dinner today. And the eels and all the fish that lives out here in the camp, in front of the camp. Waste as little meat as possible. There we go. And just... This is a stuck bone, there we go. Very, very tough skin. And that's the fillet. This fish on the side, I'm gonna wipe those uh, guts off because I don't want it to get on the meat. And I'm gonna grab, see, see those spines? Those, uh, this is actually called uh, uh, unicorn fish, yellow spine unicorn fish. That's what it's actually called. Look it up. Yellow spine unicorn fish for those yellow spines over here. And now we're going to fillet it. Kind of like this. We'll make it easier if we just fillet one part of the fillet. Like that. See? That's one part. And then just do the other side separately because uh, the knife is short. It's This knife has a lot of flaws. But it, I can't find any better one. I really like the short one. It's just it control it so much better than any other knife. See the skin? 
Very, very tough. Listen to this. Wow. Extremely tough skin. Okay, put it right here on the side. And now I'm going to, it's got uh, pin bones in the middle. So I'm going to remove those. Also, bloodline. You can eat that. I just don't like it so much. I'm the crabs, too. Put it over here on the side. Make sure it doesn't have any bones or anything. Just gonna remove this bloodline over here or this really dark meat. We don't want that. And those are in place. No bones, nothing. It's actually got one rib cage bone over here. There we go. And gonna just cut it like this. So it fries faster. Cut the other one too. And do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay guys, this is all the fillets. Both sides. Just gonna add some salt and a little bit of spices and mix. After I put the spices and the salt and mix it up thoroughly, then add some flour on it to give it that crispiness and then mix it too. Now everything is mixed up thoroughly. Guys, a good tip if you want the spices and the salt and the flour to get stuck to your meat, make sure it's dry. Dry it up first before you put anything on it and everything will get stuck to the meat. The fish is ready. I'm gonna test the oil, make sure it's hot enough. Yes, it's hot enough. Now I'm gonna put the fish on there. Don't want it to be terribly hot because I don't want the fish to burn too fast. Just medium heat will do it. And don't overcrowd the pan so you get that crispiness. I think one more. I'll put the last piece here. And I will give it about seven minutes and we're gonna be ready to eat. We're gonna flip it halfway through. We're gonna have to flip it to get both sides nice and crispy. Guys, right, fish is ready to be flipped. I'll flip all of them. It's nice and crispy on that side. About two more minutes, and then we'll take it out. Okay, it's been about a minute and a half. Fish is more than ready to be taken out. I'm gonna take it out and put it over here on some paper towel to remove all that frying oil. And I'm gonna take one of them out. Turn the fire off. And this is the fish. We got some potato buns here. We're gonna make fish sandwiches today. So I'm gonna take a few of these pieces of fish and minis. If you like mayonnaise, I do. Come on. There we go. I'll try it first. Now I tell you what. Piece of meat. The fish tastes better than the bread, actually. It's so good. I also try it one day. Really delicious. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time.